hello and welcome back. I've got another redstone video for you guys. Um, I'm going to try to make this one quick because I've done this tons of times already. So um, let's begin. This is my pulse repeater. I just invented it. I don't know if it's been done before. I've never seen it done before. So um, I mean, then again, I didn't know what to call it at first. So uh, I don't know how I would search for it if it did exist. If you know of one, let me know. I'd like to look it up and see how they did it. Um, so basically it turns one pulse into multiple pulses. Uh, right now it's multiples of one. Like this, this device by itself will do multiples of one. You can do higher, I believe, but I haven't tested it yet, so don't take my word on it. Um, both of these are just designed to show you the output. I'm just going to go with this one right now because that's really more for me, I guess, since I know how it works. Um, one pulse just does one pulse of that piston. Two does two pulses. Three does three pulses. Pretty simple. Um, this is the output right here. Uh, this is the device itself. This is where my original input was. It doesn't really matter if you put the input there or... It just has to be coming into this block for three pulses, this block for two pulses, this block for one pulse. Um, the way it works is it takes power in through this block. Um, it sends power through this pulse limiter, which there's a piston under there. Um, and it goes out through here and sends a, a very quick pulse. The, pul the pulse limiter just makes a really short pulse. Um, by, let's see, when you put power here, see how it makes a really quick pulse? It's just when it gets power, because uh, when you do that, it powers the piston and the block, which sends a small amount of electricity through this block, through this repeater before the piston actually activates and moves the block out of the way, so it makes a very quick pulse. It only works going east and west. I don't know why. Uh, there must be some kind of thing with priorities um, in the code between which one gets powered first, so uh, yeah, it only works that way. And, um, I mean, I suppose you could power it like this, too, but I was looking for a one-wide, and this is the only way I could do one-wide. Um, so it makes a quick pulse, and then this delays it just long enough for that pulse to finish, and then it makes another pulse, and then again delays long enough for that one to finish and makes another pulse. And, um, that's, that's all it is, really. Uh, you can make higher amounts of pulses, like this one does five pulses. Three, four, five. Um, and, you know, again, you can bring it down to four just by going down one and then, like, two. Um, so it's pretty versatile. You could just, like, hook up buttons to a certain thing to do whatever a certain amount of times, which I think could be pretty useful for a lot of things, like dispensers. You could have them, say you want five things, you could just put a few buttons around be like, okay, this button gives you one thing, this one gives you five, this one gives you 20, um, and so on. The electricity doesn't, or the signal doesn't have to come directly from here. You can um, pull it off from some other place. I'll show you how to build this thing right now. Um, so we've got the pulse repeater, or the pulse limiter, right? You're going to make one of those. Uh, it's just the repeaters are just at one, one delay, the default one. Then you put a block there with a repeater here. The redstone on top is just because the buttons are on this block, so that's how I get the power into that block but the power just needs to get into this block, which means you can pull redstone wire like this and just power the block like that. Um, you could, you know, potentially pull it from up above and just have it go down like that. That works too. But you just need to get power into this block. And having powered redstone on a block counts as powering the block. So, yeah. Um, and then you just... This one has to be at 4. 4 delay or else it doesn't work because there isn't enough time between pulses. Um, and then you just repeat that and you're good to go. Um, yeah. So, uh, the... Like I said, the power can be pulled in from anywhere as long as it comes directly into this one, which is why, like, on that one over there, I've just got buttons here, which means the dust on top isn't necessary. I just put it there because it's... <laughs> it allows for more ways to be powered, and I just want it to be... I want to make sure that when I'm building it, I know that I can pull redstone into this spot here. Because um, otherwise I might forget and be like, oh, well, I have to pull redstone into here. But if I'm coming from above, you can easily just pull it into that spot. Um, let's see, there's a, an elevator that I wanted to, that I that inspired this for me. It uses fence gates. Um, it it uses the fence gates because they can they count as a block, even though you can walk through them when they're open. So you just put up a piston underneath here, and no, underneath. There we go, and going like this will push up the whole row 
and then you just loop it around so with pistons so that it um the whole thing goes up and then over and then down and then back over and that way it's it's very similar to this thing over here where the glass rows get pushed over and then down and then over and then up and uh that way you can just move those cells up and then over and then down again um but you can get crushed because if you don't get out before it goes all the way up to the top you'll start taking damage from being in the ceiling or in something and then it's probably i'm sure I'm not necessarily sure that it'll hurt you, but it's annoying that you have to get out before it gets all the way up, as far as I'm concerned. I think that's annoying. So with this, you could just make a certain amount of pulses and say, like, say your next floor is eight, ste is eight blocks up. You just put in eight pulses, and then there you go. Um, so that's, that's why I made this. Um, it does have other uses, like dispensers and stuff. I know Etho was just doing a... Um, a thing where he needed multiple pulses, and he, he needed, like, two or three pulses, which... It might be easier to do it another way than other than this way, just like using a few repeaters to just delay the signal. But if you're going to go like 20, 30 um, pulses, then I definitely suggest you do it like this because uh, it's much more... At that point, you'll be needing to use like 10, 15 repeaters per pulse and uh, like once you get up to the higher ones, and this way you only need to do three per pulse. So, you know, I'm sure there's a, a, a point where this becomes much more efficient than just doing it other ways, because, like, Etho pointed out that you can do a pulse um, by doing this, and that should give me two pulses. One, two. Uh, but also, it's not very uniform that way. Like, the first pulse is a lot longer than the second pulse, whereas in this one, all the pulses are the same length. And, uh, yeah. So it's weird ending the video at uh, 420 seconds instead of 600, but uh, that's all I really have for you guys. So uh, tune in next time and I'll, I'll go over that thing so you guys actually know what it does. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.